Pat Summit family, past few days have been difficult. Lady Vole's coaching legend surrounded by those who mean the most to her. By News Sentinel staff. Update. The family of former University of Tennessee women's basketball coach Pat Summit released a statement Sunday morning acknowledging, the past few days have been difficult for Pat as her early onset dementia, Alzheimer's type progresses. The statement from Erin Freeman of Ackerman Public Relations also said, she is surrounded by those who mean the most to her and during this time, we ask for prayers for Pat and her family and friends, as well as your utmost respect and privacy. Thank you. Previous report, former University of Tennessee women's basketball coach Pat Summit is struggling and those close to her are preparing for the worst, a source involved in the situation confirmed Sunday morning. I don't think anybody knows whether she will last a day, a month, or a year, the source said. Summit announced in August 2011 that she had been diagnosed with early onset Alzheimer's disease. As of late Saturday, Summit, 64 had not been moved from the retirement center where she has been living since late January. Summit's family and some former players were with her Saturday, and preparations were being made to make public statements on her condition when necessary. Social media has been buzzing with prayer wishes for Summit and her family. Among the well-wishers is Tennessee quarterback Joshua Dobbs, who tweeted early Sunday morning, praying for coach at Pat Summit and her family tonight. Incoming women's basketball freshman Kamara Harris tweeted, My thoughts and prayers are with at Pat Summit and her family! Exclamation mark hash pray for Pat. Despite the diagnosis, Summit coached the 2011 12 season before stepping down. She concluded her storied 38 year career with 1,098 victories and eight national championships. Summit, known for her icy glare on the sideline, was hired as the Lady Vols head coach as a 22-year-old in 1974. Two years later she was co-captain on the silver medal winning U.S. Olympic team. In 1984 she coached the Olympic team to a gold medal. Basketball factored into almost every aspect of her life, including the birth of her son, Tyler, in 1990. Even though her water had broken, she finished a recruiting visit in Pennsylvania then urged pilots not to stop on the way home so her son could be born in Tennessee. Her all-time record was 1,098,208.840. She coached 47% of her games against ranked opponents and also had a .913 winning percentage at home, 50448. The court at Thompson Billing Arena, where the Lady Vols and Vols play, is called the Summit. The We Back Pat campaign began almost immediately after Summit's medical announcement. Fighting Alzheimer's became her cause before her coaching career ended as well. In November 2011, Summit and Tala announced the formation of the Pat Summit Foundation Fund, with proceeds going toward Alzheimer's research. President Barack Obama announced she was a recipient of the Presidential Medal of Freedom in April 2012. ESPN recognized her accomplishments with the documentary Patxo in July 2013. In November 2013, the Pat Summit Plaza, which included a statue, was dedicated on campus.